Hi, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Here we are going to see about control system and its interview tips. The first question is as follows: What is a system? When a number of elements or components are connected in a sequence to perform a specific function, then these kinds of groups of elements constitute a system. So this is all about emphasizing the concept of system. Here we have the next question. What is control system? Control system is nothing but in a system the output and inputs are interrelated in such a manner that the output quantity or variable is controlled by input quantity then such a system is called as control system the output quantity is called control variable or response we can say and also the input quantity is called as command signal or excitation we'll move on to the next question what are the different types of control systems there are two major types of control systems the first one is all about the open loop control system and the closed loop control system you can see the depiction of open loop control system over here and the closed loop the open loop control system is nothing but a system in which the output quantity has no effect on the input quantity and also no feedback is present from the output quantity to the input quantity for correction in terms of closed loop control system these kinds of control system are one in which the feedback is provided from the output quantity to the input quantity for the correction so as to maintain the desired output of the system you can see the depiction of closed loop control system over here we'll move to the next one what is the feedback in control system the feedback in control system is one in which the output is sampled and proportional signal is feedback to the input for automatic correction of the error that is nothing but for the further processing to get back the desired output so this is the feedback in terms of a control system we'll move on to the next question why negative feedback is preferred in the control system the role of feedback in control system is to take the sampled output feedback to the input and compare output signal with the input signal for the error apart from this negative feedback results in the better stability of the system and rejects any disturbance signals and it is said to be less sensitive to the parameter variations hence in control systems negative feedback is considered let's move to the next question what is an effect of positive feedback on stability of a system positive feedback is not used generally in the control system because of the reason is that it increases the error signal and also it drives the system to instability but the positive feedbacks are used in minor loop control systems in order to amplify certain internal signals and parameters we'll move on to the next question what are the characteristics of negative feedback the characteristics are reduction in the gain at the expense of better stability of the system the next characteristic is that rejection of disturbed signals in the system and the next one is all about low sensitivity to parameter variations and the final characteristics of negative feedback is that accuracy in tracking the steady state value so these are the characteristics of negative feedback We have the next question over here what are the basic components of 
the feedback control system. The basic components are process system that is also called as open loop system, feedback path element, error detector and the final one as controller. So these are the basic components of the feedback control system. Here we go with the next question. Define transfer function. Transfer function of a control system is defined as radio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of the input with zero initial conditions. Transfer function is defined as the Laplace transform of impulse response of the system with the zero initial conditions. We have the next question. What is mean by time invariant system? According to the control system, the time invariant system is considered to be one in which the input and output characteristics of the system does not change with time. Let's move on to the next question. What is the basic rule for block diagram reduction technique? The rules of the block diagram reduction techniques are designed in such a manner that any modifications made in the diagram will not alter the input and output relation of the system. So this is considered to be the basic rule for block diagram reduction technique. You can see the depiction of block diagram reduction technique over here. Let's move on to the next one. What is S domain and its significance? By taking Laplace transform for differential equation in the time domain, equations in S domain can be obtained. That is nothing but L of f of t equals to f of s. Here S domain is used for solving the time domain differential equation easily and by applying the Laplace for the differential equations. Let's see the next question. What are the basic properties of signal flow graph? The basic properties of the signal flow graph are signal flows are applicable to the linear system. The next property is all about it consists of nodes and branches. And also, a node is a point representing a variable or a signal. A branch indicates the functional dependence of one signal to another. A node adds the signals of all incoming branches and also it transmits the sum to all outgoing branches. Signals travel along branches only in a marked direction and is multiplied by the gain of the branch. Here we have the next question. What is the mathematical model of a control system? A control system is a collection of physical elements connected together to serve as an objective. The output and the input relations of various physical systems are governed by differential equations. Apart from that, the mathematical model of a control system constitutes set of differential equations. The response of the output of the system can be studied by solving the differential equations for various input conditions. Let's move on to the next question. Explain mechanical translational system. The model of mechanical translational system can be obtained by using three basic elements. The three basic elements are mass, spring and dashpot. Weight of the mechanical system is represented or represented by the mass and it is said to be assumed to be the concentrator at the center of the body. 
The elastic deformation of the body can be represented by the spring. Friction existing in a mechanical system can be represented by the dash pot. Here we go with the next question. What is the order of the system? The answer for this question is Order of the system is defined as the order of the differential equation governing the system. Order of the system can be determined from the transfer function of the system. Also, we can say that the order of the system helps in understanding the number of poles of the transfer function. For nth order system for a particular transfer function, it contains n number of poles. Here we go with the next question. What is the time response of the control system? The time response of the control system is defined as the output of the closed loop system as a function of time. Time response of the system can be obtained by solving the differential equations by governing the system or as we can say the time response of the system that can be obtained by transfer function of a system. Let's move to the next question. How does the time response of the system is divided? It consists of two parts. The first one is transient state response and the second one is steady state response. If you see about the transient response of the system, it's explaining about the response of the system when the input changes from one state to the another. If you see about the steady state response of the system, it shows the response is the time t which approaches infinity. Let's move on to the next question. What are test signals and their significance? In most of the systems, input signals are not known ahead of the time and it is also difficult to express the input signals mathematically by simple equations. In such cases, determining the performance of the system is not at all possible. Other than this, the test signals helps in predicting the performance of the system as the input signals which we give are said to be known. And hence, we can see the output response of the system for a given input and can understand the behavior of the control system. These are considered to be some of the significance of test signals. Here we go with the next question. What is pole of a system? Pole of a system or as we can say pole of a function f of s is a value at which the function f of s becomes infinite where f of x f of s is a function of the complex variable s. What is zero of the system? The next question. Zero of a function that is f of s is a value at which the function f of s becomes zero where f of s is a function of a complex variable s. Hope you got some interview tips. Thank you for watching the GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited video.